Sophie, are you there? Yes. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Silvina Sveder, and I'm excited to welcome you to this informational session to present the Greenwich Green Salon Challenge. This is an initiative from the Greenwich Sustainability Committee, uh, a town committee under the board of selectmen that works collaboratively to protect, preserve, and restore our natural ecosystems while enriching the quality of life in the town. And uh, Waste Free Greenwich, a local nonprofit that engages, empowers, and educates Greenwich community to waste less. Now, the purpose of this challenge, the Greenwich Green Salon Challenge, is to enlighten both salons and residents about reducing their environmental impact. We aim to ignite meaningful conversations between you, between your clients and hairstylists, inspiring, inspiring positive changes in salon practices and promoting more eco-friendly choices in your lives. As you will learn uh, when you hear more from Natalie from Green Circle Salons, by committing to more sustainable practices, you can grow your salon, build revenue, and even save some costs. Julie, can you, uh, next slide. So here are some of the benefits of uh, joining the challenge. Next slide. I guess uh, Natalie is going to talk a little bit more about the statistics and the impact of beauty on waste. We have here this if you want to, um, yes, if you want to take a screenshot just to have some numbers uh, with you. And then next slide. So now Julie Deschamps, the founder and CEO of Waste Group Greenwich, will give you background information on the waste crisis, the state of Connecticut is facing. I think someone has their phone with, um, with sound. We ask if you can mute it. So as I was saying, Julie Deschamps, the founder of uh, Waste Free Greenwich, will give you a little bit of more background information on the waste crisis that the state of Connecticut is facing and why it's really important that we learn what we can do better uh, to generate less waste. Julie? Hi, I'm Julie Deschamps. Um, thank you so much for being here today. So Connecticut is experiencing a waste crisis and there are significant impacts on public health, the environment and our wallets. Um, we now generate about 80 million tons of waste annually in state and we have limited capacity to dispose of all this trash. And the largest incinerator in Hartford recently closed and the peak scale facility where Greenwich brings all its trash to be burned is um, sh scheduled to be shuttered in 2029. So the state is now sending 40% of its trash out of state to be burned or landfilled. Um, but the regional landfill capacity is shrinking and these incinerators are, are really aging. Um, projections are that the costs will rise exponentially, and this is already happening here in our town. Our tipping fees are scheduled to go up in June, and the haulers will pass this cost on to um, customers. So the Greenwich um, Green Salon Challenge really provides a solution to divert waste and potentially cut costs. So let's learn more about the program now with Green Circle Salons. We're thrilled to introduce Natalie Lucan, who is an educator for Green Circle. Hi, uh, let me just share my screen. And hi, everyone. Oh, do you see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Um, so my name is Natalie. I am an educator with Green Circle Salons. Uh, and I'm so excited actually to introduce to you uh, what uh, Green Circle Salons is here for, what is our mission, and how uh, you can be part of that mission. And uh, there we go. So what is Green Circle? Where did it start? Um, so meet Shane. Shane is our founder. So back in 2009, Shane noticed there was a pretty big problem with the beauty industry. So one day he was getting his hair cut. And as he was sitting there, he noticed a, a hairdresser walk by with a huge bag of garbage. And he was wondering what's in that bag. So he asked, hey, can I go and check out what's in that bag? And by doing so, he noticed 
a lot of material that actually can be recycled. So a specific way. So like there was, you notice the hair, you notice all the um, the metal, the aerosol cans, uh, single use items. And he thought to himself, there's got to be a solution for all this waste. A lot of it can be recycled. There's There's got to be something. And as he looked more into it, he learned something pretty important about our um, beauty industry. And he found out by doing a lot of research that actually the beauty industry is responsible for 877 pounds of waste. And that is created every single minute. And that's just North America, actually, specifically the United States and Canada. And uh, we talk a lot about that number at Green Circle Salons, um, but what does it mean? What does it look like? And so they decided to do a big campaign to see what does that look like. And just to have an idea, it's actually this mountain that's standing, like right that Shane is standing in front of. So just to have an idea, this is a an example of what 877 pounds of waste. So at the end of the day, that comes up to 420,000 pounds of waste per day. So it, you can imagine how much that, at least we can try to imagine how much waste is really created after a year. And to understand a little bit more about how Green Circle kind of like fits into all of this, um, I would like to talk about Earth Overshoot Day. And Earth Overshoot Day is basically the day that marks um, when humanity or us as humans have, have used up all the biological resources that the Earth uh, regenerates during the entire year. So just to have an idea of like, what does that mean? Like, I'm not sure I understand. So it's kind of in a similar way as if I earn $1,000 per week, but I spend $1,500 per week. Eventually, that will catch up to me. So it's a little bit in the same way, but um, in a simplified version, um, except for with our biological resources. And to clear things up of like how much of a problem it is, last year, this date fell on August 2nd. So we're really starting to see like how problematic it is and um, that basically we're currently using one and a half times of what our planet can replenish within one given year. And this date should be December 31st. And with all this production, uh, we're starting to have some symptoms. So one is global warming. I'm sure you're all hearing about it. Uh, more and more scientists are talking about it, universities and it, it's being public and the other big problem if you haven't heard about it it's the great pacific uh, garbage patch so this is a floating island of plastic uh, and specifically this one is the biggest one out of many and uh, it's twice the size of texas so yes um, there are really some benefits when it comes to um, plastic in the terms of durability but also what we love so much about plastic and things things of that nature um, does have a very negative side, a very sinister side. And uh, one problem is that uh, it doesn't necessarily biodegrade, but it photodegrades, which basically means it breaks up into smaller pieces. So creating a huge problem on the planet. And basically Green Circle Salons is here to change that. And so we have solutions. So in order to understand where Green Circle fits into all of this, uh, it's important to understand the sustainability hierarchy. So it's a it's a hierarchy for a reason. And what most people don't know, even though they learned about it or maybe they have forgotten, it has to go into this order. So first, we want to reduce as much as possible and become conscious uh, consumers. So what do I want versus what do I need? Second, ideally, we should always be uh, reusing what we can our water bottles or things of that nature. And and then third choice is recycle. And that's exactly where Green Circle Salon fits in. So we're here to recycle beauty waste and whatever we cannot recycle, uh, we will transform it from waste to energy. And the last choice, which should be prevented at all costs is really the landfill. And so what is Green Circle? So Green Circle is... Uh, um, a business that is B Corp certified, which means that we have to meet the high standards of social and environmental performance. 
uh, and ensure public transparency as well. And so our goal is to really use prof profit or the power of business to solve social and environmental problems. Um, the other thing is uh, we are zero waste to landfill certified by Carbon Trust. So that basically means that whatever we recuperate from our clients, whatever we receive, uh, number one, it says it in the name. So it, we're zero waste to landfill. Nothing will end up in landfill. And the other thing is whatever gets sent to incineration, there has to be some form of energy recovery. And last but not least, we are partnered with Offset Alliance. So this is like really cool. Uh, so all our members get a CO2 neutral certification. So at no additional cost. So all our clients, what we do is that we basically send to Offset Alliance information about their business. So what services they're offering, how big is their business? And we can actually calculate what is their carbon footprint. And by doing so, I, like Offset Alliance will do something to go and neutralize the amount of carbon that their business is producing. So for example, last year they were planting, we planted seeds in uh, seeds, I mean, uh, trees in Nicaragua. Sometimes we plant uh, seed kelp. So we're always doing something different to go and sequester the CO2 in the environment and really to neutralize. So all our clients can offer carbon neutral services, which is really, really cool. Um, so what, does green circle, how do we do it? What are we doing? And what is our goal? What is our mission? So with green circle, basically we're here to give salon waste a new life. So for us, everything that we collect from a salon is not in waste. It's basically a resource. So we can take up to 95% of their beauty waste, which is pretty much everything except for certain things that require certain licenses, but we do work with uh, different partners. But the remaining 5% most of the time is either compostable. And we take all these items so we can collect metals, uh, excess in hair color, uh, paper, plastic, single use items, which is most of the time unheard of. And uh, last but not least, hair. And what we do with all these items is that we'll turn it into bicycle parts, car parts with the metal, we'll convert the single use items into clean energy. And then, or uh, when it comes to the excess hair color, we will extract water, purify it and turn, put it back into the environment and whatever byproduct we use uh, that is remaining from the hair color, we will convert it into uh, industrial fuel, which is super cool. And last, uh, last but not least, what we do with the hair is even cooler. Uh, we convert it into these combs. So these combs are made with hair that we have recovered from our clients and plastic bottles of shampoo and conditioner. So it gives our clients a tool to show their efforts in uh, creating a better and sustainable future for the, the beauty industry, as well as their community and being leaders of their community. So it's a great um, story for them to share and to explain to their clients how they're making an impact. And so what we do as a business, so we offer, uh, we basically help salons and spas through what we call our four pillars. And number one is we help our salons be go, like, become green. So we recover up to 95% of their beauty waste and as well as uh, they can become carbon neutral clients. Uh, salons and businesses. The other way we like to help our clients is gain new clients. So by doing so, by becoming a member, they get added to our directory of green salons. And we know that 84% of salon guests care about a salon's environmental impact. So by adding them to our um, register, registry, I'm sorry, um, I am more French as well. Uh, so by adding them to our registry, they will have better um, uh, results on search engines. And even last year, our website got over 80,000 clicks of consumers looking for a hair salon in their area uh, that is more sustainable. So we're really seeing it starting to see a really big impact in and the shift within uh, the market when it comes to uh, more conscious consumers. So we, we feel like we're actually heading somewhere. And the other thing with Queen Circle is that we help our salon members 
build revenue. So we encourage all our members to share what we call an eco fee, a recycling fee. Some people call it an environmental, uh, an environmental fee of uh, a small fee between two and three dollar. Not only will it cover their costs with Green Circle, because the last thing we want is for it to just be another cost. We understand it has to be sustainable for their business as well. But by doing so, they get to cover their costs and also generate a revenue. So we're here to be business partners with our salon members. And by generating the revenue, they can use that money to reinvest into the business. And by doing so, especially if they're reinvesting in sustainable practices, it can lead them to saving more money. So if by reinvesting it into new environmental friendly technologies, such as some clients go one extreme and they add solar panels, the other, uh, some sal salons are by um, simply integrating LED lighting or uh, eco heads. So there are different ways. In the long run, they will save more money on their electricity bill, on um, their water bill and things like that. So it's very cool. So we're really here to work together as a team and be there for our clients and our members. And so we have different programs. So depending on the actual salon and what their size is and what their needs are, we can customize everything. So we have from our program that we call salon specific, which for salons that only need hair, metals, and color, we're there to help them. Uh, full program, maybe a salon needs everything. So from hair, metals, paper, plastic, they don't have any local recycling. Because ideally we should stick as much as possible as local, but sometimes it's not always available. So we can help them really achieve their sustainable goals and by offering all the solutions. The other thing is we have these biocomposite bins um, that a client can also use, which is also made from recovered hair and, our, uh, and the plastic that we have collected uh, from our clients. And it can go for the whole composite bin look as well. And then for suite owners, even if you're if they're a client, a salon is just a suite owner, they're newly starting off, um, they're renting a chair. Uh, we have options for that too. So we're really here to cater to everyone's needs. So for the smaller or for the biggest, bigger business, we're here to help. And last but not least, we also have a small program for spas. So mainly spas usually use single use items and some paper and plastic. Um, and a lot of the times there is no solution for used wax strips or um, you know, nail files. And most of the time it just ends up in landfill. So we found a solution for that as well. So whatever your program is or whatever the program anyone needs, we're here to help. And all our programs basically come with next day pick. So the way the program works is our members basically, instead of putting all their waste into one bin or one garbage, whatever it is, um, they just have to keep the waste separated. And then once those garbage bags are pretty much full, our members take them and then they put it into a shipping box. And then once that box is full, they will go on our, on our portal and they schedule basically a next day pickup. Ideally, if they can, um, wait until multiple boxes are full. So this way we can pick up multiple boxes at the same time, which is better for the environment. And we work with UPS. And UPS is also um, carbon neutral. So it's the reason why we use UPS. And another thing that's really cool. So all our members have access to our port. And what we've added on our portal is what we call an impact dashboard. So every time when we receive one of our boxes, uh, the box from a salon, we will measure, uh, we will weight all the foils, all the metals, all the hair, and this way, our members can see what's their impact. So how much waste have we have they sent us? How much waste has been recuperated by Green Circle Salons? So they can see maybe uh, by the end of the year, their full impact. So we've maybe collected uh, 100 pounds of hair, um, I don't know, 200 pounds of metals, which is really cool. And then they can use that and we offer marketing material for salon members to actually share that on their social media. So it shows like tangible results, you know? which is really cool. Um, we also provide them with the carbon neutral certification, promotional material. Uh, we will be launching also our member success um, 
our member perks as well, which will help our salon members also save more money. So that is another uh, way um, that our members will be saving money. So that's coming up soon. And there's much, much more. And so we offer two programs, depending on the size of the salon. So number one is the subscription independent artist. So this is really for smaller salons that have 250 clients or less, suite owners, booth renters, uh, things like that. Uh, and the there are two fees with both programs. So the first fee is the enrollment fee, which gets you fully started. And then the subscription program is really a subscription model. So it goes per box and they're smaller boxes because of the, um, the needs of the clients uh, of the salon. Uh, and it's $125. And for the full circle program, we're looking at bigger salons, salons with 250 uh, clients per month or more. So you're looking at basically usually a salon that has four or more stylists. And the enrollment fee is between $320 and $360, which is a one-time fee. And the, they receive the bio composite bins, all the marketing material, pretty much everything to get started, the shipping boxes and things like that. And then there's a fixed monthly fee depending on the waste streams we're collecting and the amount of clients they're seeing per month. So uh, if any salon is interested or wants to become a member, all they have to do is go on our way, uh, on our uh, website uh, in the top right corner where you see that purple button. I don't know if you can read it, but it says become a member and all they have to do is fill out a form, super easy. And then from there, we assist our, our, um, our salon members on how to get started, give them information and uh, explain how it all works so they can become leaders in their own community. And for more information, Anybody can go, you can go on our website. Uh, you can contact us directly, either me or info at greencirclesalons.com. And with that, I would just like to leave a little uh, message about uh, how much Green Circle has achieved so far. So up until now, we have collected about 10 million pounds of waste. I don't know what that looks like. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what that looks like. Already we know what 877 pounds looks like, but to put 10 million pounds of that in one big pile uh, can be pretty astonishing what we can do when we come together as a collective and how much of an impact we can create on this planet and really starts changing things for the better. Because as we can see, the way things are going is not really working. So we're here. And I think like becoming a community is the best way to do it. And I hope you see that as well. And with that, I would like to know um, if anyone has questions regarding the Green Circle program or... Thank you, Natalie. That was very informative and inspiring. I hope everyone that is participating on, on this session uh, learned the importance of really trying to do something different and why we uh, at this program, why we decided to partner with Green Circle Salons because we see all the amazing work that they are doing. So before uh, opening up the floor for questions, I just want to review a little bit, go over the advantages, the benefits of joining this challenge for all the salons. So as you will see, you will minimize your environmental uh, footprint. And that's what we all want to do, right? We want to decarbonize our economies. We want to live in greener, uh, greener towns. As Natalie explained, uh, having a more sustainable proposal can attract a new stream of clients. Those clients that are looking to partner with companies that are doing things better. You're going to be able to build some revenue. Uh, and we can go over the environmental fee. You can contact us at the Waste Free Greenwich. It's wastefreegreenwich at gmail.com, right? Uh, so if you have any comments, any questions, if you have doubts about the challenge, please email us again at wastefreegreenwich at gmail.com. And, and all those, those alums that are participating on this challenge will be recognized as environmental champions. We've been having an aggressive campaign on social media and on local press. So um, rest assure you that if you decide to participate, you're going to be uh, promoted as one of environmental champions in, in our town. Um, 
Ideally, what we want is to generate, as we said before, less waste, not, not just because we need to green our town, but it's also it's going to be beneficial for your bottom line. So hopefully it's going to have like even a positive financial impact on, uh, on your business. And what we want is to keep our planet and our people beautiful. So that's um, another of the benefits that we see on this challenge. So without that, now, um, I don't know if any has any questions, please unmute yourself if you feel this was um, helpful. If you have questions, again, we have a few minutes. Nope. <laughs> okay. So again, as I said before, any questions and, and if you want to learn how to participate, email us. We have also a QR code with uh, some discounts for uh, Green Circle Salons and we can give you uh, more information. We can help you figure out what's the best solution to you and how to, uh, to incorporate it in your business model. So thank you. You're muted. I got a question for Natalie. Yes. If a hair salon would like to start, um, the can they start with a minimum of one box? For example, they decide to say to think, okay, I have more haircuts than uh, than highlights or whatever that use aluminium. Can they start with at least with one box and try yes. with decide if it is for hair or aluminium? How does it work that the commitment and also is that commitment annual because you said it's the minimum 125 per box plus a $75 um, fee for a start. How does it work that please? Uh, yeah, so definitely we, depending on what their needs are, we can definitely customize. So the enrollment fee is the one time fee, uh, regardless if it's the subscription program or the uh, full circle program. Uh, and it's just the housing is just for them to receive their welcome kit, what we call, and uh, they can stick to one box. If that's all they need, we will be there as consultants to help them determine what they need. Um, so our goal is to really not give, give them too much or give them what they don't need. It's really based on how many clients, what waste streams and how many like boxes we can already estimate. Um, depending like if they have paper and plastic, definitely uh, one small box, uh, depending on how many clients might be just enough for them. And they'll get a box every four weeks. And that might be a good start. And then as they grow their business, we will revise their needs. Maybe they'll need two boxes eventually every month. Um, and then after a while, again, it, we, we have a great member success uh, team that is also there to help them uh, also revise and ensure that they always get uh, the number of boxes, how to pack the boxes properly, um, to also take full advantage of the program as well. Uh, I forgot to mention Earth Month is coming up and Earth Month is uh, April. And so for Earth Month, we are offering a promotion. Um, so for the subscription, which is the smaller boxes for more independent artists. So it's a $50 enrollment fee and the first box is free. So if they need one box a month, it's going to be their first month. It will be free. And for the full program, it's a $50 uh, enrollment fee and the first month free. So for that's for the bigger salons that have four, 250 clients or more. So it's a great promotion because we can save, we're saving quite a bit. So the $330 to $360 enrollment fee plus the first month. Mm -hmm. Thank so you. Natalie, let me repeat that. Thank you. I will send you an email with yes. all the information. So for those uh, those salons that are interested in joining, there's the promotion for uh, Earth Month, which mm -hmm. is a, a, a free box for the value of 125 plus a $25 discount. So that's a 150 value for the promotion for the uh, independent salons. Yes, pretty much. Yes, minimum. Uh, yeah, uh, no, for the independent artists, yes, that's their, their saving. And for the full circle, they can go some can, the minimum they would be saving, I think it would be around $700. Uh, 
and they can save up to like, depending on what their client count, if they have a lot of clients, it can even go much higher in terms of saving. Okay, and, you can put that on social media. And yeah, and they have online. until April 30th to sign up. And it, it makes a great campaign and a great way to integrate into your salon as well, because um, it's Earth Month. The whole, whole, the, the whole campaign is around uh, being more sustainable and um, being a more sustainable salon. So it's a great time to start. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. And let me ask you other stuff. Uh, is there in, I heard in the area, there is a Westport salon that is your client. In the case that any Greenwich hair salon is interested, in, um, are you able to contact them with those other salons that they already are using your services and having this information so they can from colleague to colleague to have this chat and conversation, how does it affect prices and the clients, if they have a, a positive response from clients, how does it work that in case they will need to contact hair salons that are closer in the area? Uh, if someone, uh, a salon that's uh, thinking of joining a program and to contact one of our existing members, uh, yeah, they can definitely do that. I think uh, I've already had salon members already do that. Um, I know I had a coworker too who went to a Green Circle salon uh, before taking on the job. She went and uh, asked the, the salon owner, what do you think of the program? And that's what pushed her to join the, co the company. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely hear that. Um, and it, I think it would be a good way to understand, uh, hear it from an actual salon member as well. Um, how was it incorporating the eco fee? How was it um, also in terms of in the training part? Because there is a, a small little learning curve, very small, um, because most salons are more or less doing this picking up their waist. The only difference is that they have to build a habit of keeping the waist separate, right? Um, so that's where they can at, learn more about a, an actual testimonial of, of an actual salon that's already doing it. So I think it's really great. Um, I don't know all the salon members by heart in in that area. Uh, we have over 4,000 members, so I can't remember, unfortunately, all of them. But yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm sure all our members seem to be very happy with the service. Thank you. Thank you. I encourage everyone, anyone that is interested to go on the Green Circle Salon. You have a directory of uh, of salons that are participating in the program, so you can reach out to any of them. And we hope <laughs> that in the near future, you're going to be in that directory as well. To have any more questions, any more comments, you can also use the uh, the chat, the participants chat, if you feel shy this morning. <laughs> no, okay. So I guess with that, um, we thank you uh, for participating this morning, for your time, for your interest, for your curiosity. Uh, we hope that we were able again to inspire uh, something in, in you that you learn that there are many things that you can do differently and that you can uh, engage with Green Circle Salons and you have partners here at the town with West Free Greenwich, with the Greenwich Sustainability Committee. And please email us, reach out to us and, and we can help you figure out what's the best model for you. Thank you. We're going to have Thank you. We're going to have a recording of today on, on the um, Wise Free Greenwich website. Thank you, Silvina. Very interesting. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.